everyone. I'm Alex Navarro with DangerouslyHardcore.com, bringing you another delicious recipe, ultra low carb of course. Tonight I'm going to be making stuffed bell peppers. One of my favorites, super easy to make and is a great go-to leftover snack or lunch on the go. So what you need is a pound of ground beef. I usually prefer a grass-fed. Four bell peppers, pretty small ones, but you want to make sure that they can stand up on their own so they don't fall over when you're cooking them in the pan. A can of low-carb pasta sauce, whole milk ricotta cheese, and a little Parmesan for the topping. That's it. So we're going to start by preparing our bell peppers. And I already have the first few going here. What you're going to do is just cut off the top. And just cut off a little bit of the top because you still want to keep most of the bottom part so you have more room to fill it. And I'm just going to cut out the ribs. So you just want to make sure that all the seeds are out. I usually just tap them out and if there's a few left over I'll just scrape them out. And when I choose bell peppers I try to choose ones that are short and stout because if they're too long, well unless you want to fill them with a lot of meat, they just make cuter ones. And I also try to get ones that stand up on their own so that when you put them in the pan, they don't topple over, kind of like this one here. But these were the best ones I could find. And I'm also going to remove the seeds from the lid. And I'm going to save the lids. I'm not going to cook them with the bottoms. I'm going to wait until I put them back in the oven at the end. Otherwise, they're going to overcook. So I'll just set those to the side. And then I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper into each one. And then a couple grounds of pepper. And then what we're going to do is we're going to broil them in the oven for about five to seven minutes. And you just want to keep an eye on them until the edges get nice and brown. And then we're going to pull them out. And once we've made our, prepared our meat, we're going to then fill them. The next step is browning the meat. And I have a pound of grass-fed beef here. And I'm just going to brown it, and you really want to break it up as you cook it. You want to make sure you don't have any big chunks. And I usually cook it over about medium high. Turn that up just a little bit. And you can use any pasta sauce that you want. Just make sure you want to watch the carb count. Luckily, Safeway, I found this is our local grocery store here, this great sauce. It's only four grams per serving, which is, actually it's only three now that I look at it, one gram of fiber. It's a little bit expensive, but it fits within the guidelines. So that way I don't have to worry about using the whole jar if I want it to. And what we're also gonna do is once the meat's done, before we add the sauce in, because it's the grass-fed beef, it's got a higher fat content. So we're just gonna drain out a little bit of the extra fat. Okay, our meat's all browned up, so now we're going to go ahead and add the sauce. And we don't want it to be too saucy, you just want to give the meat a little bit of flavor. So if I'm using a pound of meat, I'm probably only going to use about half the can. You can always add more in. I'm going to give it a quick stir. And the heat's on just a little low. Because the sauce is a little cold, we don't want to cool off the meat too much. Mmm, smells really good. This is one of my favorite sauces. Make sure it's all well mixed and if you find any big chunks of the meat, go ahead and just break those up along the way. You want them to be in small, small pieces. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think we're ready to fill our pepper cups. So let me check on those and make sure that they're done. Okay, we've got all of our pieces here ready to fill the peppers. Now you can tell by looking at these that the edges are nice and brown and they're just a little bit flimsy. You don't want them to be too flimsy, otherwise they might topple over when you cook them. So what I have here is some whole fat ricotta, which is by far my favorite part of this whole dish. I got my meat cooked up with the sauce and my toppers here. So what I'm going to do is take about a nice tablespoon of ricotta and just dollop that right down onto the inside. Doesn't have to look pretty because you're just going to fill it with the meat on top. One dollop there. If you like a lot of ricotta, you can put a little bit more. I've also tried this with mascarpone cheese, which is a little creamier, slightly different flavor. Both were good, but I'm still a fan of the ricotta. Just 
wipe my hands off there. Then we're going to carefully spoon the meat in. And what's nice about doing a pound of meat, if you're really picky or nitpicky about serving size, a pound of meat, four peppers, you get about a quarter of a pound in each one. You just want to make sure that when you fill them, you fill them evenly. And you can kind of smush it down in there. And this size is perfect because you can just fill them to the top. And I kept my oven on so that when I'm done filling, I can just throw them back in there, grill, broil them for just a few more minutes to melt the cheese that we're going to put on top. And it's really easy. But again, if you're going to make these and want to save a few for another night or to take the work to ne the next day, you can skip the baking part when we're done. You can just fill them, top them off with the toppers, pop them in the fridge. Really easy. And then I save the tops and what you can go ahead and do if you want to sprinkle them with a little salt and pepper, I'm going to put them, you can either do tops up or down, it's totally up to you, but I'm going to sprinkle those with a little bit of salt and pepper too and just put them on the edges of the pan so that they can broil up a little bit with the rest. So a little bit of salt, a few grinds of pepper. So I have some nice freshly grated Parmesan here. And just do a little sprinkle on top of each one. And again, if it spills all over the place, no big deal. And look how pretty those are. I think they're ready to go back under the broiler. And you're just going to do it long enough for the cheese to melt and the meat to warm up a little bit more. And then they're ready to go. All right, we got our final product right here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it open, see what we got inside. And it's perfect. And I even let the top brown just a little bit so that they're not raw. And I like to just slice it right open. And what's nice is once it's open, you can see the creaminess of the ricotta at the bottom, all the flavors mixed together. And the bell pepper is nice and soft. You can use any color bell pepper that you want, but I like the red ones because they turn out really sweet. And that is perfect. The creaminess of the ricotta adds a lot of flavor and that little bit of Parmesan on top. So feel free to add more par Parmesan as you eat it, if that's what you like. Well, check back with me next time and see what else I'm going to make. I'm going to eat this in the meantime. <laughs>